Good morning, Church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to talk to you on essential number six: a balance schedule. A balance schedule. I want to bring you a reading from James, uh, John chapter five, verse nineteen. John five, verse nineteen says, "Jesus gave them this answer: Very truly, I tell you, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees the Father doing." Why? Because whatever the father does, the son also does. You know, it tells you and I. Sometimes, you know, in planning of our schedule for the day, or for the week, or for the month, you know, we want to do whatever we want to do. We have never even bring it before God and ask God. He said, "We do what the father. What the, the what do God want you to do today? What is that God is trying to tell you about the schedule that you have today?" John eleven verse six says, "So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, 'Lazarus, come out!' The dead man came out, his hands and feet, all right, uh, wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, 'Take it off, take off the grave, the grave.'" Clothes and let him go. You know, uh, Jesus supposed to be where Lazarus was buried. You know, when he messenger came to him and announced him of the death of Lazarus. But you know what? Jesus stayed on, stayed on a few more days. All right, and did not go there straight away. Why? Because he knew the plan and the goal and the purpose of the Father. Psalms ninety verse twelve says. Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days, so that we may gain a heart of wisdom. You know, it's telling you and I to learn to schedule our time and our day, the things that we need to do for the day, and this is important. Do you and I ever talk with God about our schedule, or do you hold? Your shed, your 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 yourself into a frantic world every day. Do not know what to do, but you are led and swing around and blow around by the wind and the waves of life. Do you rush from place to place, and chores to chores? All right. Thinking that in all of your business, you are accomplishing real work and establishing real relationships. The truth is, a balanced schedule is structured according to the purpose that God has established in your life. God always have a plan for us every day. But everything we do, whether it's business, whether it's career, we lay it out. We plan it out the day before. We bring it before God and ask God to bless or God to help us in our situation, which is the most important thing we need to get done for the day. You know, in looking to Jesus as our example, He controls His schedule according to the Father's plan. His schedule did not rule Him. He Rule the shadow. Many times we allow people, we allow things that we need to do. We allow circumstances to rule us. We allow things to come into the shadow of our life daily to rule us. But Jesus rule his own life, the daily shadow according to the plan of the Father. Amen. Furthermore, the Bible tells us Jesus approach his shadow in three ways that are particularly relevant to you and I today. Let's learn from it together, shall we? Amen. One, Jesus never attempted to justify his schedule or make excuses for any aspect of his schedule. He didn't say, as many people do today, "I just needed to get away. I just needed to stay away from people and fulfill my thing." You know, please forgive me. You know, I. That, but I just don't have the time. Is it so? Jesus lived his whole entire life without relying on the approval of people. He only sought to please the heavenly Father in his daily schedule. Is God speaking to your heart today to tell you, "Hey, I know you are busy. 
can you just cut back a little bit and give a little bit time to your neighbor give a little bit time to call somebody and say hello to the person and how are you catching up in life or you know when you come home instead of quickly you know go and have a shower and have your dinner and watch television will you after your dinner and so and so forth will you just you know stay stay up for a while instead of watching tv but to read the bible just for five minutes or just say a short prayer of three minutes you know so jesus never never attempt to justify his schedule or make excuses for any aspect of his time he want to honor god secondly jesus was never hurried or flustered when he came to his schedule he didn't rush from place to place in fact for purposes that were mystery to his close followers you know he was he was he he, he was fully waited in 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 jericho even after he received news that lazarus was sick was ill you know and we know the retrospect that he did that for the wonderful purpose of raising lazarus not healing lazarus but healing lazarus and the bible tells us from the date but at the time jesus disciples certainly didn't understand his apparent laid back approach to the situation where lazarus was very very sick and died he waited four more days later you know jesus did not allow people to push him into their schedule did not want jesus people to control his time and the schedule jesus knew what's best to do for himself to heal the people where he was before he go and raise lazarus dead from his life and totally jesus didn't find his schedule to be stressful he did the things that were more, very very important and let the unimportant things to go by sometimes we do the unimportant things we let the important thing go by and that's why we have to rush here rush there get this done get that done because you know, we waste too much of time doing things that are not relevant and unimportant for that day if i like if if like me you know at times you feel your schedule has gotten completely out of balance sometimes my schedule is all out of balance so what you need to do today is take some time to gain control of your schedule by reflecting and evaluating how and where you have been spending your time very important reorganize your schedule for the day begin by asking the following question in restructuring and ordering and controlling your schedule one what am i doing what are you doing in what you're doing now two which of these things is absolutely vital to my fulfilling my potential and my purpose doing what god created me to be and to do today what is god's plan for me number three what do i need to do what do i need to let others do and what doesn't need to be done today at all you and i have to decide that amen and then you will be able to organize your schedule for the day some answers to these questions may be difficult and you may need to make all right tough choices about your time your work your current relationship relationships but there no doubt are changes you can make that will minimize stress streamline your day and help you right and help you get more out of every hour you are gifted with in your hands for the day amen ask the heavenly father you know to help you review these changes that you need to make to your life and once you're aware of that act on them then pray frequently and regularly for god's help to you to remain flexible even if there are some things you don't need to do never mind it's okay let it go but the most important thing for the day you need to do is your relationship with god 
your relationship with man and your work for the day that is very important for you in life. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we help us that you help us to do all that we need to do, be all that you want us to be and fulfill well all that you want us to fulfill for the day. Help us to take control of our schedule, reorganize our life rightly. All this we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day. Amen. God bless.